Okay, this is topic 4-7, example 1. To find the perimeter of the rectangle, we're going to add all four sides. So I've got this side and this side, this side and this side. So that's x minus 3. I'm putting it twice. 2x plus 1. I list it twice. When I add them up, negative 3 plus negative 3 plus 1 plus 1 gives me negative 4. Because this is a negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. So 6x six minus 4, that is my perimeter. Okay, to do the area, area means base times height. So I'm just going to multiply the two together. I'm going to use the box method. It doesn't matter which I put on top and which I put on the side. When I multiply them together, I get 2x squared, negative 6x, positive x, and a negative 3. As I take them out, I get 2x squared. This combines to make a negative 5x minus 3, and that is my area. Okay, let's look at example 2. For example 2, I want to find the area of this hashed region right here. This is the sidewalk. So in order to do that, first I can take the area of the entire rectangle and then I can subtract the area of the smaller rectangle and what is left over will be this area. So to do the area of the bigger rectangle, we're going to multiply length times width. Again, it doesn't matter which goes on top and which goes on the side. It's going to give us the same answer either way. 6x squared, negative 2x. 9x and negative 3. As I pull them out, I get 6x squared. This combines to make a minus 7x and minus 3. Okay, that's the big area. To give you a little bit better visual representation, that big area is all of this shaded in right here. It's the whole rectangle. Next, we're going to find the area of the smaller one. In order to do that, I've got 2x and 2x plus 2. So I can either distribute the 2x, or I can make a box with just 2, like this. So when I multiply these, I get 4x squared and 4x. So that's 4x squared plus 4x. Now, you don't have any diagonals to add because there's only two boxes here and here. If you wanted to distribute, you could have easily written 2x times 2x plus 2. And if you distributed, it would have given you the same answer right here. Okay, so that's the area of my smaller one. That is this right here. So if I subtract them, what I will have left is just the outer green region. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my first one, 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. And I'm going to subtract the 4x squared plus 4x. Remember, I'm subtracting the whole equation. Uh, let's look. I made a mistake right here. Negative 2 and 9, that's a positive 7, so that should be a positive 7, too. Okay, whenever I do the subtraction, this gives me 2x squared. 7 minus a positive 4 gives me a positive 3x minus 3. Okay? That's the answer for number 2. That is the area of just this outside shaded region. Okay, let's look at example 3. I want to find the volume. Volume is capital B times H. B is area. It's the area of the base. So let's identify the base. The base is this right here. So to find the area of it, I'm going to do length times width because that's a box. So it's this one times this one. I have to use my box method to do that since each of them have two pieces. So there's 2x plus 1, 3x minus 1, fill in the box, and this is negative 1, add the diagonals and I get 6x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, that is the area of the base, so that's capital B. Now I've got to find h. h is right here. It is the height of that box. So h is equal to x, 
So if I multiply b and h together, I will get x times 6x squared plus x minus 1. I'm going to distribute this time. I could do a box that was 3 tall like this, if that's easier for you. Here I get 6x cubed plus x squared minus x. That is the volume of the whole box. Okay, let's look at example 4. We have a jack-in-the-box and we want to find the area of the entire box. So first, again, I've got to find the area of the space. I'm going to multiply this and this together to get the area of the base. So that's 2x plus 1. And down below we have x plus 3. So we multiply these together. And we get 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, that's my B. So if volume is the capital B times the H, that means I've got to multiply by the height still. Okay, in order to do that, I've got a 3 by 2 box. So it's going to be a tall, skinny one. We're going to put 2x plus 3 here, and we'll put the other down along the side. Plus 7x plus 3. So I'm going to fill this in real quick. 14x squared, that's a 6x, 3x squared, 21x, and 3 times 3 gives me 9. So I can add my diagonals. I'm not going to circle them for the sake of clarity because I think it would make it even blurrier. So here's 4x cubed. We're going to add to that 17x squared plus 27 x plus 9. Okay, I made a mistake and I couldn't hear you screaming at me through the computer but I figured it out anyway right here. This was 2 times 3 so it should be 6 x squared. So 6 plus 14 makes this down here actually a 20 instead of a 17. So that's my volume of the entire box. I'll write that as my answer right here. Plus 20x squared plus 27x plus 9. Okay, now i got to find the volume of the part that Jack will fit into. And that's this gray box right here. So I'm going to use the same procedure, but it's easier because I have small components, so I don't have to use a big box like this to multiply them together. My base is x times x, and my height is 2x. I'm just going to multiply x times x times 2x, and that gives me 2x cubed. Okay, so that's the volume of Jack. Now to find the volume that is left over that Jack isn't filling up, all the rest of the space, we're just going to subtract the two. If I take the total volume and I subtract Jack's volume, that will leave what's left. So I could line these up, 4x cubed and 2x cubed. If we subtract them, we get 2x cubed left over. Now I just have to put the rest of this equation. Plus 20x squared plus 27x plus 9. And since we didn't show all that work, I'm going to put a little note right here. To get this answer, I subtracted b from a. So we subtracted 2x cubed from this whole equation here. Our x cubed was the only thing that was affected, and the rest of the equation remained the same. This has been lesson 4-7, and I hope it's been helpful.